So let me start off by um, saying it was you know, an amazing experience again and the chairwoman Pinta Marin and, and her colleagues and the great staff of, of OLS and, and budget and my colleagues and um, the staff on the Republican aisle and despite what we do here on the floor folks and most of you've been here a lot longer we, we truly like each other we just have philosophical major differences but we had great comradeship and uh, did I go home frustrated most nights? Oh, no question about it. I think, but the chairwoman didn't sleep. She couldn't. She had a tough night sleeping. And then one night after we were there, 12 hours too. So I get it affects both sides of it. But it was truly an honor getting to this process. Um, now, uh, I just, as budget officer, I just feel we, we we missed an absolute golden opportunity. Many of these folks in this room will never have the opportunity again to have over 10 billion dollars of unexpected revenue. I mean, the bad side is, and and. This is half jokingly and half not. You know it's really bad when the Democrats admit they've taken too much of your money. Because I've never heard that before, even this time. And, and, and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for saying that we've got to return more of the taxpayers' money. But the bottom line is it should have never been taken. You know, it's like, I don't know, breaking in someone's house and stealing 500 bucks and giving them 250 bucks back and saying how fantastic and here's your reward. Well, wait a minute, that was my 500 bucks you took. So this money should have never been taken. I know there... You know, the word symbolic, we're here, we could have done more, we could have done more. There's no question we could have done more and we should have done more. We should have done some permanency here. The credit rating I hear about and hear about, I think it's only restored to the level when Governor Christie first came into office. And I don't want to get into a Chris Christie battle or a Murphy battle or Corzine, but it's nothing to really brag about. You know, it's, it's, it's just simply back where it was because our debt is so large. And we had such an opportunity here to pay down debt, but more important, to make everybody's lives better and return the money. You know, you'll get your driver's license. The marriage um, license, I guess, is free. I wish we moved on the marriage penalty tax, you know, f so that people who are married aren't paying additional and, and higher taxes. I wish we weren't worked on income tax things and, and where it was real structural reform for the working poor and the middle class who, as wages go up, the income tax remains the same and inflation is destroying it. There's so many things we could have done. and. Folks, we all have rearview mirrors, and we get in the car tonight, look back, because I think you're going to say after you vote, and unfortunately, been here long enough, it's probably going to pass. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure it's going to pass, but there's, you could have done better. You could have made things much better for the average New Jerseyan. You could have put money in your pocket today, as the leader said. This money, why in May? I don't know if it's getting close to election time. Or, but I know where gas prices are now today. I know where food prices are now today. I know people are suffering. And I, unless I go out and buy 200,000 Ticonderoga pencils, I'm not going to see much of a tax cut. And my kids are a little older than school age. Why I always appreciate any tax cuts, you guys admitted that they're symbolic and, and, and trivial. So that, 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 I'm like preaching to the choir. We know we could have done more. This was the chance to really make reform where the credit ratings and bond agencies and the debt defeasance assemblymen would all do respect. Three billion dollars of that can be used doesn't have to be used to pay down debt, it can be used to pay capital projects. So there's really different gimmicks in here instead of giving real tax reform to the people who need it the most. And when you have $10 billion too much and three, four, five billion dollars in federal, or federal money, I guess three billion earmarked um, and then three billion not spent and some of it will be spent in this budget, you know that people are overtaxed and should be um, um, returned. So I really appreciate everybody's time on the budget. Um, you know, there, there is tax increases come, coming along, even as they say there's no new taxes, there's going to be um, uh, unemployment taxes, payroll taxes coming along. So there is going to be new taxes coming along on top. But I guess just think of that number, $51 billion from $34 billion a few short years ago. That's, that's, that's a staggering amount of money. Does it surprise me? No. I guess with 60 new taxes and $5 billion in revenue under Governor Murphy, doesn't surprise me that you built up a big pot of gold. But I just wish that we returned a pot of gold to the people, to the rightful source of, um, it's like a lost and found, and they lost it, but I know where it should go. It should go back to the people who we shouldn't have taken it from in the first place. So Mr. Speaker, I move to return Assembly Bill 4402 back to the second reading for the purpose of an amendment and to give the people back their money as soon as possible, not next year.